Well, they got healthy because, as we know, they were playing without Nate Mason in the game against Harvard after he rolled his ankle just before Christmas against FAU. They did get Mason back, though, for this game. And to prove it, there he is. And it was a good welcome back for Nate Mason as he made his presence felt here. Really good play defensively there with the awareness and then ahead to Jordan Murphy for the jam. 13 to 2. Speed there. So the Gophers out to a great start. Illinois started one of 19 for the field. How about this? He's nearly 20 feet behind the three point line. The alley oop to Amir Coffey, who rattles it home. Still counts. Still counts. Not about the style points. 15 to 2, and then Dupree McBrayer. A nice game for McBrayer, who finished with 12. All five starters and double figures for the Gophers. Coffee with the jam. Minnesota on top, 39-26 at the break. Early second half, it is Coffee again. 16 for him is 11th straight. Double-figure game at the Illini, as Andy was talking about. Coming back, DeMonte Williams with the putback. Williams finished with six, kept a 13-2 Illinois run, but Murphy just too tough through the lane. Richard Patino approves. And then it is Mason fitting that he would end it with the jumper there. 17 points, six assists, four rebounds for him in his return to action. A 10-point win for the Gophers. They win their fifth straight in the game that they had led by as many as 20 before the Illini battled back into it. It is win number 13 for Richard Patino's team. The coach with Sean Morris. Thanks, guys. Coach, congratulations on a hard-fought win. You came out, you kind of controlled the pace. You were able to get out in the transition before Illinois was get situated. How pleased with you with the way your team responded to the scouting report to start the game? Yeah, we really, we, we talked about defending and rebounding. Because if you don't do that and you have to try to score against that defense in a half court, it's a problem. So I'm really proud of the defense and the rebounding and the loose balls because we got a lot of respect for how physical that team is. And we were really physical as well today. You had to be really pleased with when Illinois made the run. You knew they were going to make it the way your team responded. Coming out of the timeout, you made two consecutive possessions going right toward the basket. Is that something you emphasize? I guess so. I don't know if it worked. I'm going to go with it. I get blamed if it didn't work. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they make you do that. So we drove the ball to the basket. I thought Reggie Lynch was really good at the end of the game as well. We rebounded the ball, and we were really tough. It wasn't pretty, but it's a league win, and those are tough to come by. How important was it for you to get Nate Mason back? What did you see from your perspective, what he was able to give you tonight? Very important. I mean, he's one of the best guards in the league, if not the country. And I thought at the beginning, he got tired, but at the beginning, he was really, really tough to guard. They make you play one-on-one, -on -one, and he was terrific at it today. 